Australian rugby legend and 1991 World Cup winning team member David Campisi is in Colombo to attend the community rugby events arranged by Zahira College for their centenary rugby sevens programs which kicked off on the 31st of January. David Campisi, also known as Campo, is a former Australian rugby union player who was capped by the Wallabies 101 times and played 85 tests at wing and 16 at fullback. I have with me Australian rugby legend David Campisi and myself being a rugby fan I have a few questions for you uh, David why rugby out of all other sports? Uh, look I was very fortunate to uh, play a lot of sports in Australia when I was growing up in a small town and um, I played golf, won a golf championship, played cricket, played rugby league, played um, uh, won a golf championship and all that sort of stuff and played Aussie rules and then when I was 6, 17 I went over and watched the, the local fourth grade rugby team and uh, what happened was I uh, said do you need a fullback and I started so off I went and here I am. David you were known for your flamboyant style of play and your unorthodox moves. Were you criticised for this and uh, if so like how did you deal with this? Uh, yeah look uh, when you're different uh, you're always going to up the criticism from the established people um, but I was fortunate to play in some great Wallaby teams when I came through in the 80s and 90s won the World Cup in 91 so I got more probably praise from the Europeans when I went overseas because they uh, probably were pretty boring rugby teams back then um, and obviously they, the, the journalists like to see something different Unfortunately, if you want to be different, there's circumstances uh, and consequences. So, look, you know, I I was one of those players that I just had a great time. I had an opportunity to play for my country and travel the world and obviously never been to Sri Lanka and here I am. So I'm very, very honoured to, to play a great sport. And tonight we've got obviously a lot of the Sri Lankan players we played against in, um, in 1998 at the Commonwealth Games. You were also part of a few iconic rugby matches, especially the 1991 Rugby World Cup final. Give us a bit of the experience you had there, the emotions you went through. Yeah, it, it's very, it's very interesting that um, you look back now and we, we played New Zealand, we beat New, we played Ireland, we beat Ireland in the quarters, we played New Zealand in the semis. So we actually thought we were the world champions because New Zealand were the world champions from the last World Cup. And um, when we went to London, I said to Nick Farr Jones, our first training session, I said, uh, I think we've got a few problems here because mentally we're drains. And when you go through six weeks of rugby. You can't get stronger, you can't get fitter, then it's the mind. So it, the game wasn't a great game, but at the end of the day we, we won and it doesn't really matter how, how you play as long as you win. And it was, it was a great moment for Australian rugby and uh, it's like it was yesterday. David, in context of the current game of rugby, what are the changes you would make if you had the power to do that uh, to make the game more exciting and accessible? Uh, look, it, it's different because we went professional and then there's different rules came in. Uh, a couple of rules that I would change is the referee shouldn't have a whistle, number one. That'd be very interesting, wouldn't it? No, I mean, the referee's he's got a lot on his plate. There's a lot of look, things he's got to look at. Um, I would not have a TMO. I think the referee's got to make a decision. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. I don't agree with the advantage law, so you can get in the, 20, in the half of the opposition, the referee can give you advantage 30 phases later and you still got advantage. I think you should have two or three phases, lose it or use it. Um, the 50-20 is a rugby league law. Um, we don't need rugby league players or coaches in our game. We're a unique game. And unfortunately, uh, if we saw the Rugby World Cup last year, uh, a lot of penalties, a lot of time. Rugby used to be 80 minutes, now it could be it's 100 minutes. You know, and um, I just think that what we need to do is just make it where the teams get away from structure and just play what's in front of you and have a great time. Thank you, David. Hopefully this won't be the first time we see you here again. And we hope to see you in Sri Lanka in many other occasions, helping the development thank of you. rugby as well. Thank, thank you, you very much, much thank and you. thank you thank for you. your time.